Hello, scholars. Today we are going to continue our unit on then and now. Today's lesson is life long ago, school. Our learning target is we can talk about what school was like long ago. Today's reading is going to be a little different. Information was taken from this text, If You Lived in Colonial Times by Anne McGovern. There was a lot of information here in the text, but we wanted to give you information that was helpful for kindergartners to know the differences of schools back then and schools today. Long ago, not all children went to school. The first school that boys and girls went to was called a dame school. The teacher was a woman and the children came to her house. In dame school, children learned how to read and write. Children were all different ages. Take a look here at the photograph and the illustration. You might notice that the children are not the same height. Some are much shorter than the others, and some are much taller than those shorter ones. You might also notice that all the children are just sitting around one teacher. And that's because she was teaching out of her house. Not many homes had so many rooms for her to teach many different classes. Did Dame School have different classrooms and teachers for each grade? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. There were no blackboards and no maps in colonial schools. There were no pencils either. Boys wrote with a lump of lead or a goose quill pen dipped in ink. Children in Dame School used a special kind of school book called a horn book. It was not a real book with pages to turn. It was a piece of wood with a printed page on each side of it. As soon as children learned to read and write everything that was on the horn book, they were finished with Dame School. So these are examples of the horn book. You'll notice that there are letters on top for them to learn their ABCs. Some of them have a focus here on vowels. There's a prayer down here below. And this horn book even has some illustrations to help with letter sounds. Once scholars learned all of their letters and how to read what was on the horn book, they were finished with school. Long ago, did children use goose quill pens dipped in ink and chalk to write? Yes or no? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. After dame school, boys went on to another school to learn more. Girls stayed home. Long ago, most people thought reading and writing were enough for girls to know. Most boys had to go to school. And the law said every town with 50 families must build a school for boys. But some towns did not have enough money to build schools. Long ago, did girls and boys get to learn the same way? Thumbs up for yes. Thumbs down for no. Schools were not comfortable. There were hard benches to sit on. The only, the school only had one room which was freezing cold in the winter. The only heat came from the fireplace. Every boy had to bring firewood for the fire. If he forgot, he had to sit far away from the fire. Oh goodness. Were colonial schools comfortable places to sit and learn? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Now that you've learned a little bit about how schools were long ago in our country, we can talk about what schools were like long ago and talk about how things have changed for us.